coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next C++ made easy tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be learning about the static cast. Now I hope this is an easy tutorial. Um, but basically, oh I already did it here, sorry. But what a static cast does is that it does what we've been basically doing this whole time with the C style cast but it does it in a more type safe way. So a static cast can be used for more implicit types and it can convert it. So you can say static underscore cast int and we can convert a float to an integer in a more um, safe manner. Uh, the one thing about static cast that you have to note is that it does not check like dynamic casts do before converting. So it is up to the programmer's digression whether it's a good thing or not to do a static cast. But where the static cast shines is that a static cast by default, um, it basically it converts pointers to related classes. And what I mean by that is this. So let's say I have, um, um, let's say I have a, a child, um, C and I have a parent and I call it P. So what I what I want to do is I want to convert the P, the parent to the child. So what I could do is just say C is equal to static cast child a pointer because it takes a pointer to related classes and I'll put P in there. And therefore, instead of just converting the child to a parent like the dynamic cast can do, we can convert a, um, a parent to an actual child. So it does not do uh, the actual error, the error checking, and as a result, it can be, it will be faster than a dynamic cast without the checking. But it's up to the programmer to determine if this will actually be a proper conversion. So be careful when using the static cast, but it can be very useful. So we can convert parents to child and child to parents and any like class or any classes alike, sorry. So anyways, that's it for this tutorial. I know it was really short. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment, rate, or comment below and don't forget to rate and subscribe. And if you have any detailed questions, don't be afraid to post on my forum and I will help you out as soon as possible. So thanks and bye for now.